you figure out your brand colors. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use Canva and your logo to set your three to five brand colors for your organization. So go ahead and follow me and let's dive right in. Okay, so here we go. This is the main Canva. Again, I have a paid plan. It, everything that I show you here, you should be able to do on your free plan, but this is a paid Canva plan. I spend, I think around $13 a month for this and it allows me to do all the whistles and everything pretty easily. But I'm gonna show you, this is a 500 by 500 and any, any, anything will work. But I happen to have opened a 500 by 500 logo document. And you're just opening up to start out, to figure out your color codes, opening up a blank document that can be any size. I chose this one that's just logo size. Um, so I'm gonna have and show you from here. The next thing you're going to do, again, we're trying to see what are your brand colors based hopefully on your color logo. Now, if you don't have a color logo, you can do this similar thing with, if you have any kind of graphic or image that is what represents your brand. Um, so for, again, most organizations, it is your logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my logo. And this actually is not the nonprofit marketing nerd logo. This is, let's find it. And you can kind of see, I'm not super secretive about what I do. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open up the social propel logo. Okay, there you go. There are your brand colors. Not really. Um, so here is what I'm gonna call the Canva hack to quickly learn your brand colors. So you're gonna go to elements. And let's just go ahead and create, and again, this could be anything, but I'm gonna create a square. Oh my word, it already started in one of the brand colors, but we're gonna double check. So once you create a square, we're gonna go ahead and, again, I'm gonna pretend it's here, but I want the social propel brand colors. So when I go down here to photo colors, it will pull out colors that it notices are your colors in the logo. This is how you find your color code. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this and look, I already have BDF805. But I'm gonna show you an easier way where you can just copy and paste. So there you go. This is my brand color in my logo. And then again, I said you can hover and copy and paste. Oh, we'll come back. Oh, I'll come back. But the other thing you can do is go here like you're gonna add a new color. Let me move myself. Ah. Okay, so the other thing you can do is go here like you're gonna add a new color and it'll give you the other color code. So I can just copy it and paste it right there. Okay, so again, that's for my, I control C, control V, sorry. I copied it, so let me go ahead and do that the right way. So here, because I'm a perfectionist, I want to duplicate that, but now I want it to be that pink color that you see here. So all I'm gonna do is go to change the color of this rectangle, go down to photo colors, and, and that pink color shows up. Okay, so this is still the old color code, um, and you're gonna go up to change it. and paste it here. Now, literally in less than 10 minutes, you can create your organization's brand guide. I could take this little square document and if I don't wanna pay a marketing company to do it or if I, um, I'm really, really hacking it or if I want it for me, I, I've been guilty my entire life um, as a PR and development person in-house and then even when I ran agencies having post-it notes of color codes sitting all over. Uh, my computer because I'm that person. I'm a pen and paper person, but I would always write down the color code so I could quickly see it no matter what program I was in. But we're going to go ahead and find again, let's not control, let's, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and find that gray color. Oh no, go away. No, I don't want that. Go away. Okay. So you're going to again go here, go down to the photo color, select that photo color. Hey Kelly, I want the real photo color and right here, voila, that is your Oops, sorry. Wrong thing. I want to change the font color to the white. Okay. So there you go. Super quickly, entirely free. You don't have to pay anyone. You can find 
your exact color codes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'd love to continue to help organizations just like yours. So comment below with other needs you have, and I will create a free video just for you to help level up your nonprofit's marketing.